gravel falls vertically onto a conveyor belt. The gravel falls at constant rate of 13 kg per second through a height of 1.9 meters. Show that the vertical speed of the gravel as it lands on the conveyor belt is about 6 meters per second. Since there is a change in height, we can just apply low conservation of energy. At this point, there is only gravitational potential energy which becomes kinetic at this point. So we can write that mgh becomes mv squared over 2. Mass cancels, hence v is the root of 2 gh which is equal to a square root of 2 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by 1.9 and which is equal to notice that if question is to show that and actually answer is given if you just write uh, 6 it will be not correct uh, your answer must be at least one more uh, significant figures or decimal places so you should write 6.1 or let it be 6.11 meters per second. Um, the gravel length without rebounding. Calculate the rate of change of the vertical momentum of the gravel. Momentum is the product of mass and velocity. Uh, change in momentum is final momentum minus initial momentum. Uh, final momentum is zero because uh, final uh, speed is zero. It stops. And uh, uh, to find the rate of, of uh, change, uh, you need uh, change in momentum during some time period divided by that time period. Finally, you get uh, um, change in momentum per unit time, uh, per one second. And uh, let's uh, choose time to be equal to one second. Hence, uh, since uh, uh, rate of change of uh, the mass is 13, uh, kilograms per second. Hence, uh, during one second, uh, uh, 13 kilograms of gravel uh, fall. Hence, uh, mass is 13, and 13 multiplied by uh, initial velocity just before uh, belt is 6.11 and uh, final momentum is uh, zero, hence change in momentum by magnitude uh, during one second is, is this value. And uh, momentum divided by time, so if we divide by one second, finally we get uh, a rate of change of momentum. And uh, it is equal to uh, 79 newtons, and notice that if you choose any other, time period, for example, 10 seconds. During 10 uh, seconds, you get uh, uh, mass to be equal to 130 divided by 10, and you get absolutely the same uh, answer. And uh, gravel first reaches the belt at 0 seconds and continues to fall. Determine the total vertical force that the gravel exerts on the conveyor belt at 5 seconds. And during 5 seconds, total mass collected is 13 multiplied by 5, is 65 kilograms. And if we multiply it by 9.8, we get 637 newtons, which is weight, and it's... Uh, uh, force exerted uh, by uh, uh, this mass on the belt, but uh, there is additionally force due to push due to impulse uh, of uh, gravel uh, hitting uh, the belt each second, and it is equal to 79. It is equal to change in momentum each second. Hence, finally, total force is the sum and it is equal to uh, 716 newtons. It may be rounded to two significant figures. The next, the conveyor belt moves with constant horizontal speed of 1.5 meters per second as the gravel lands on the belt. It has no horizontal speed. Calculate the rate of change of the kinetic energy of the gravel due to its change in horizontal speed. Uh, so rate of change of uh, uh, kinetic energy 
change in kinetic divided by time to get a change in kinetic uh, per unit time. And if we consider again uh, time to be equal to one second, uh, initially kinetic energy is zero because uh, initially horizontal speed is zero. Final horizontal speed is 1.5, hence final kinetic energy is 13 times uh, 1.5 squared over 2 uh, minus zero over 1. Hence uh, we get a uh, required rate of change of the kinetic energy which is equal to 14.6 joules per second or watts. Next, determine the power required to move the conveyor belt at constant speed. We know formula that power is force multiplied by velocity, but how to find force? We can apply formula impulse is equal to change in momentum. And uh, if we consider time to be equal to one second, change in momentum during one second is equal to mass is 13 for one second and uh, uh, speed is uh, uh, 1.5 uh, hence uh, final, uh, the final momentum is 13.5 initially is 0 hence change in momentum is uh, 13 multiplied by 1.5 which is equal to 19.5 newtons and hence power is 19.5 multiplied by 1.5 which is equal to 29.3 watts outline why the answers to uh, the previous two questions are different uh, total power provided is uh, 29 and user full power is uh, 14 and question is uh, why is that is difference and the answer is, is because the gravel has to slip to gain horizontal speed. The gravel has to slip to gain horizontal speed. It means that additional power or energy required to accelerate gravel through friction at the surface of the belt. And uh, that's all for this question.